Yo, what's good, YouTube? This is Jay from TNJ, and welcome to the National Championship here in Season 9 as your Whitetails take on 12-1 Notre Dame, who is coming off of a great season in the ACC as they have been moved there from an independent this is a battle of the defenses, the number five total defense versus the number four total defense in terms of yards. Their only loss comes by way of Stanford, only losing by six. Now, this Notre Dame team is really good on offense. They have a ton of weapons. Starting at quarterback, they have a pure pocket passer, another super sophomore, Robert Carter. He has 95 throw power and 94 accuracy. At running back, Wallace Rogers has ran for a thousand yards. He is a weapon. He's got speed. But at receiver and tight end is where they make their money. I mean, look at Garcia. He has 10 touchdowns on the year. And quite frankly, anybody can step up and have a big game. I mean, they have those type of weapons on offense. And then on defense, this is where they shine. Brandon McQueen leads their team in sacks with seven and a half. They also have an All-American safety in David Schmidt. And also Jacoby Jimmins, our former recruit, is now the defensive tackle for them. But just looking at Schmidt, he has five interceptions on the year. Beck and Townsend have three each. And Townsend is as locked down as you can get. 99 man, 99 zone. This is going to be a tough game all around. So let's get into the national championship here at in Arizona and let's go here we go Notre Dame starts out with the ball and now out comes Carter at quarterback they start out with five wide the first play we get to him it's a really old villain who hits him on that pass and that is going to be incomplete on the first pass of the game so third and eight this time Carter throws to the outside he's got Clint Garcia 15 yards on the sideline he's got both feet in bounds it's a first down for him. So second and 10 this time, handoff. Rodgers swallowed up in the backfield. It is Anderson Reed, the All-American, the award winner, the senior. And he gets a tackle in the backfield as we eventually get him to a third and 13 throw. Wide open is Garcia who beats Charles Davis on that one. 20 yards, he gets past the, the senior cornerback and it's a first down. It looks like that may have been a little bit of a rub route. So first and 10 now, Carter throws across the middle. He's got Fitzpatrick, who throws off uh, Charles Davis again and gets tackled inside the 20, gain of 25, and another first down for Notre Dame. So now they're set up inside the 15, handoff. Rodgers does get by Jamison. It's a touchdown, 11 yards, and that drive was pretty much helped by those two third down conversions. And Notre Dame strikes first in the national championship. It's 7-0. So here is Colin Curse back on an offense for his first drive. Throw to the right side. It's picked off off of the tip. And Lamb, he picks it up and runs it in. It's a touchdown on the first play of the Whitetails offensive possession. And it's a pick six the other way. Notre Dame, take a look. 57, he almost dropped that. But Lamb got his hands under the ball, caught it. And just like that, it's 14-0. This is just the start we wanted. So here we are down 14-0. Colin Kurtz throws across the middle. He's got the true freshman, and that is Blake Wright. Gain of six yards. So second and four this time. We're going to run Delroy King in motion and give it to him. He's going to get up the middle, who breaks the tackle, tries to get to the outside, but does get tackled, but he does get nine. That's enough for a first down as we get it to about the 30-yard line. Handoff, Apollo up the middle, and he's got about a gain of four on that one as that brings it to about the 36-yard line here for a third and six. Kurtz gets flushed out of the pocket, throws to the right side. Ramel Williams has it in his hands, and he drops it. And that is going to be another uh, possession loss for the Whitetails, and out comes Notre Dame with a chance to take a three-score lead. So here's Carter, the first pass out to left side. He's got his leading receiver, Clint Garcia, who's got 10 touchdowns on the year that, like we highlighted before the game. And now they throw on a second down, and there is a catch. Anthony Heath, first down as they move the chains. 
Carter looks good from the pocket. We all know he has the big arm and the accuracy. Another throw across the middle. It's Heath again. 16 yards tripped up by Denzel uh, Graham Jr. And now they get it to about the 38. A draw play. And it's a tackle in the backfield. It's Adam Williams. And that pushes them back a little bit. And now they line up with trips to the left. Handoff, second and 12. And there is Charles Davis in the backfield. He gets to tackle one-on-one. -on -one. And that's a loss of three yards for Notre Dame. And that brings it to a third and 16. Screen pass out to the right side. Frankie Kai was there first. And Charles Davis cleans it up. Actually, that is actually our safety on that one, Will Copes. As they do settle for a long field goal. This is 57 yards. The kick is up. And it is going to be good. So now Notre Dame has an All-American kicker as well. It's 17-0 here to start this game. We are in a deep hole. This is one of our biggest deficits of the season. So here we are starting on the next drive, giving it off to Apollo, who gets going on that one gain of 16, and that's a first down. To play action fake this time. Ramel Williams tries to put on a move on Schmidt, and Schmidt gets the best of him that time. It's a hard hit, but it's a first down as he moved the chains across the 50-yard line. They send a blitz. Kurtz gets flushed out of the pocket. Nobody's home to the right side. He makes a man miss and gets out of bounds, breaking a tackle. And it's almost a gain of 20 yards as now we get it to about the 26. Another fresh set of downs. Handoff. Apollo does get drugged down from behind. This, we knew this defense is going to be tough. And now we get it to a third and nine from the 25. They send the blitz, throw to the end zone. And it's Blake Wright. He's got it for the touchdown. They were in a cover two. We just exploited the coverage. And they sent the blitz as well in a perfect throw from the freshman to the other freshman, Blake Wright. He led our team in total touchdowns. He also led us in catches. And now he makes it 17 to seven. So here we are back on defense. They try to run the ball with Wallace Rogers, and it's a tackle in the backfield. That's Ja'Kai Betts, loss of two yards. So third and 12 this time. Throw to left side. It's Heath, who's got another reception, but he needed 12 yards. He got 11, and we do finally force a punt so we can trim this lead down. And now here comes our offense back out onto the field towards the end of the first quarter. On the first play, the pass rush gets to us. It's a sack. Loss of six yards, their leading sack getter, Brandon McQueen, hits his eight and a half sack of the season. So here is Kurtz on a second and long throw to the sideline, and that's caught by Blake Wright as Kurtz gets hit on the throw. And that brings it to a third and nine. Now we're into the second quarter throw to the right side. It's gonna be caught. Ramel Williams gets tackled before the first down marker. Gain of nine yards. And look at this, Coach is being aggressive here in the national championship, down by two scores, handoff. Apollo can't get to the marker, and that is gonna be a turnover. And wow, that is a gutsy call. It was fourth and in inches, we had a good chance of getting it, but instead, it's a turnover. So back out on defense, first throw to the right side. It. It's picked off, that's Ja'Kai Betts, the freshman All-American. He's gonna run this one back, and he gets it to about the 40-yard line. So Ja'Kai Betts has the offenses back. That's a huge turnover, maybe even a swing of momentum, and he makes the catch and run. And now we're set up at across the 50-yard line, at a 40. First throw across the middle, and that one is knocked out of the hands of Ramel Williams as he can't hold on to that one, bringing it to a second and 10. Handoff to the senior, that is Julian Gonzalez. It's only a gain of three. So this defense is tough here as we face a third and seven. Here's Kurtz, throws, and it's almost picked off. That was almost the second interception by their linebacker, number 57. And that one is a lucky one as we do settle for three, and that one does just sneak over the crossbar. It is gonna be a 55-yard field goal. And now we make it 17 to 10. So here is Notre Dame back on an offense. We did make a stop on the last drive as they try to start out the next drive with the screen pass. And that one goes for a gain of three. So here's Rodgers, another hand up, up the middle. He gets hit hard by Bobo Smith. And that's another gain of three, bringing it to a third and four. This time Carter throws deep. He's got a man. It's Scott who gets behind Charles Davis, the senior cornerback. And it's a first down as he gets tripped up at about the 12-yard line. So now they're set up here with four minutes left. 
inside the 15. Throw to the right side. It's Scott, who's tackled by Davis again, who's been busy in this one. It looks like they have been attacking Charles Davis, the senior. And now that brings it to a second and 10. Toss play to the left. Rodgers breaks a tackle. He's in four yards out. It's a touchdown. And now we're back down by two scores. And let's see if we can get some points on the board before halftime. And on the first play, run the jet sweep with Blake Wright. But this time, he gets tackled in the backfield. Loss of one yard. That's Jacoby Jimmins, who was one of our top recruits two seasons. Actually, three seasons ago. And now that brings it to a third and long. Throw to left side. It's Jasper Sweet, who finally gets involved in this one. Gain of 22. And that's a first down for his first catch of the game. So now we got about a minute and 15 seconds left here in the first half. Here's a throw to the right side. Apollo St. Vincent, he has it, but he runs out of real estate and actually runs out of bounds. That's a loss of four yards as that eventually brings us to a third and 14. We're going to try one deep. Jump ball. Jasper Sweet's got it. Gain of 37 yards. Two catches for him on this drive. And that one lands us inside the 10. Is now we're gonna hand off inside the 10. Hand off, and that's Apollo. He falls in for the touchdown, four yards out. Back down by seven, so we're still in this game, but it's interesting because Notre Dame is doing what they want on offense. Here's a handoff up the middle, and that is gonna be a five yard carry for Wallace Rogers as Notre Dame does call a timeout. And now with 12 seconds left here, under center, Carter throws to the right side. And he's got Fitzpatrick, and that is going to be caught for a gain of 20 as they burn their second time out here with seven seconds left. So running their tight end in motion this time, Carter from the shotgun. He throws down the left sideline, and he's got Scott again, who burns our other corner. That's Barry Willis on the left side. And now they are set up well within his field goal range for their kicker, and that one will be knocked through. So they end up getting three points on the board, and this is an interesting game. Notre Dame has came to play. It's 27-17. So we do start the half out with the ball. Here is Kurtz with a throw across the middle, and he's got Blake Wright, who already has a score in this one. Gain of 15 yards, but it seems like this could be a shootout as Notre Dame's offense has came to play. But here we are, run the ball. This time Apollo does get through a tackler and stumbles forward for about a gain of five as that eventually brings us to a third and two. Another handoff. This time Julian Gonzalez, the senior, is in the game playing in his last game as a whitetail. And that's a gain of six and a first down. So play action fake this time. Notre Dame sends the blitz. Blake Wright goes up and gets it in traffic. It is a big time catch as we're inside the 15. What an athletic play from Blake Wright. He's made plays like that all season long, and he is having himself an amazing freshman campaign. And now we continue this drive with a quick throw. Delroy King, he's got it. He gets hit hard, and that's a gain of nine for his first catch of the game. As we hand it off inside the five, hand off Julian Gonzalez. He gets in for the touchdown, one yard out. And now this lead is down to just three. And we come back, and now we have to play some defense. On the next drive, here's Rodgers, draw play. He throws off Will Copes, and he gets down the sideline. And look at him. He's got speed. He's got 94 of it. And he gets inside the 20. Big time run by Wallace Rodgers, his longest run of the day. And just showing some patience and a broken tackle, he picks up the big first down. So here is Rodgers on the next play, handoff. And that is a tackle by Anderson Reed the All-American, and that brings it to an eventual third and seven. They come out under center this time with two wide receivers to the right side. This time, Daddy. Carter goes down. It is Ja'Kai Betts. He goes in, and he gets his first sack of the game along with that interception he had earlier. He's having a good one. As now they settle for three, and now we're down by six. So now we have a chance to take the lead, but here is Ramel Williams with a nice gain of eight. As we get it to about an, uh, about the 37 yard line handoff up the middle and that is gonna be a first down and that's Apollo St. Vincent, gain of six. As we move the chains, as we get it to about the 41. Here's Colin Curse this time, flushing out of the pocket. Gonna try to make something happen, waiting for somebody to get open and throws and it's picked off. 
Just a bad decision on that throw. Johnson gets the pick, and that is going to be the second turnover by Colin Kurtz. Just trying to do too much. It's a big-time game, and he just tried to make something happen when it wasn't there. Should have just thrown it away. And now here is Notre Dame set up with great field position. So here's a handoff this time. Rodgers breaks a tackle, falls forward. And that is a gain of 10 yards. And now Notre Dame is in the driver's seat here in the second half. First and 10 from the shotgun throw. And it's almost picked off. Bruh. Adam Williams had one. He could have changed the complexion of this game with that one. He could have took that one to the house too. And now this drive continues, second and 10. And what do you know it? They convert Clint Garcia, his fourth catch of the game as they get it inside the five. Here's a read option. Carter, he walks in. It's a touchdown, and wow, that Adam Williams drop pick could come back to haunt us as now we're down by two scores once again. It's a 13-point game as his third quarter does wind down. Here's Apollo, handoff up the middle, and that's only a gain of four as now we get it to the last play of the third quarter. Kurtz has great protection. He's going to throw the ball deep one-on-one. -on -one. It's knocked away by Schmidt, the All-American. Bradbury could not come down with that one. And it brings it to a third and six. Kurtz scrambles out to the right side. Nobody's home. And he does get to the first down marker. That's a big-time scramble by the freshman. And it's a first down as we're now set up at about the 35. Here's Blake Wright running in motion. But we give it off to Apollo, who finds a lane, and he gets up field. And it's a gain of 10 for him. It's now we get it to about the 25. Here's Kurtz, quick throw, Jasper Sweet. He's got speed. He's got it inside the 10 yard line, 21 yards for him. And it's a first down as now we get it inside to about the one yard line. On the next play, run it to the line, throw. And it's caught, right Michael Bradbury. It's a touchdown. And now we're right back down to a one score game here with seven minutes left here in the fourth quarter. We need a big stop here on this drive. So here is Carter, first pass out to the middle of the field. He's got Billy Foster, and that's about a gain of five as they bring it to a second and five. Here is Carter again. Nobody's open. Everybody's covered, God, and it's a covered back. sack. And it is a really old villain who gets credit for that one. His first sack of the game. He led the team this year. And now that brings it to a third and 13. Carter throws to the right side, and it's incomplete. His receiver could not drag a foot, and it's just slightly overthrown. And now we have possession back with a chance to take the lead here in the fourth quarter. So here is Jasper Sweet with the first catch across the middle. That was a tight window, a really nervous throw on that one, gain of eight. So second and two, handoff. Apollo is tackled in the backfield, that defense is good. They send the house on that one, bringing it to a third and three. We try to hand it off to Julian Gonzalez, but a broken play, and Kurtz gets tackled behind the line. Loss of one yard, and now fourth and four. We, we're going for it here. We're just out of field goal range. Kurtz throws across the middle. It's Blake Wright who holds on to it in traffic. He takes a huge hit, and he's closing in on a 100-yard day. And now this drive continues as this clock winds down close to three minutes. Read option this time, and Kurtz takes it up the middle, and he slides at about the 12. It's a first down, and now we're thinking six. Two minutes left here on the clock. Here is Julian, handoff up the middle, and now we are going to start to run it just a little bit, and now we get it to the four-yard line. Handoff, third and two. Apollo walks in, and we take the lead here in the fourth quarter. In Notre Dame, the tides have turned. We have come back in this one. We have been trailing the entire game. And now we are up by one with a minute and 20 seconds left. This is the same exact scenario as the Big Ten Championship versus Michigan. Now Notre Dame has a chance to make their own history. The first pass, Billy Foster's got it. And that is a first down. So from the 39, first and 10, Carter has all day to throw. Throws across the middle. It's caught by Fitzpatrick, gain of 12. And now they're at about the 50-yard line here as they line up with five wide out there. A minute left now in the game. Throw to left side. It's Heath again, who's been busy. He gets clocked by Adam Williams, gain of eight. And that brings it to a second and two. They hurried up to the line. They don't call a timeout here. Carter throws across the middle. Wide open Fitzpatrick. And they're to the 30-yard line. Remember, their kicker has a leg, so this is kind of his range. 
but they probably want to get it just a little bit closer. They come out with five wide once again after calling a timeout. Carter throws to the right side. It's picked off, and that's Charles Davis. The senior who's been picked down all game comes up clutch, and he seals this game for the Whitetails, and we will complete the three-peat here in the national championship. Take a look. He came off of his man and made the play on the ball. They've been picking on his side the entire game. He's gotten burnt more than a couple of times, and this time is a bad mistake by the Notre Dame quarterback, and we take home our third national championship in a row. Can you believe it? That is 45 straight wins. Amazing accomplishment. We are the first team to three-peat since the 1940s. And Apollo St. Vincent gets player of the game. But I got to give it to my man, Charles Davis. That game ceiling interception did it for us. And Ja'Kai Betts also had an amazing game. Those two, to me, get the game ball. But we complete the three-peat here in the White Tails dynasty. And wow, what a journey it's been nine seasons 120 plus episodes it's been fun a whole lot of fun and apollo st vincent two touchdowns in this one and gonzalez gets a touchdown as well this was just an amazing game these last two games versus michigan and notre dame coincidentally two rivals and we faced them back to back and they're both ranked number two in both games i mean that is just a storybook ending to this series yep that's right we are going to be ending the dynasty because the rebuild is complete three straight national championships and really 45 straight wins that is a huge accomplishment and that is where we draw the line and that is where we say goodbye i think we've accomplished everything we've needed to in this dynasty and it is sad i gotta admit it this is the longest running series i've ever had on my channel it's the most successful it's been about nine months running for this entire series and it's just been a whole lot of fun and man we just came to play and we completed the three p and honestly, we saved the best games for last. These last two games may have been the greatest two games of the entire dynasty. I mean, these two one-point games each. I mean, that is just amazing. And you can just see, we bring the title back to Green Bay. Or actually, it stays in Green Bay. But man, what a journey it's been. I am so happy about this. I am not sad. I am not sad to say goodbye to the series because we've accomplished everything here in Green Bay, Wisconsin, and starting out at 1-11 and getting to 14-0 three straight seasons. I mean, look at that. Remember the, remember the years when we were struggling to get to that big game? We went 11 wins, and then we would lose. 11 wins, then we would lose. 10 wins, then we would lose. And we just couldn't get to the big game. And then we finally got there and we didn't look back. And man, that's the thing. It's the journey. I mean, we were terrible in season one, improved in season two. I think season three, we started to hit our stride. And then season after that, four and five and six, I mean, we really started to win. And believe it or not, we did not win an AAC championship game. We did not. We just won four Big Ten title games. And then we won three national championships. Our bowl record actually is only one game over 500. It's been a journey. But like I said, this will be the conclusion of this dynasty. I do want to fo focus more on the Morgan State dynasty and also MLB. And I do have future plans to start a new NCAA series, at least on 14. But this one, I think we've completed everything that needed to be completed. And I think this is a great place to call it. And I wanna thank all of you guys that supported me from episode one on to episode 125. And this has been, this has been amazing. And uh, man, I'm, I'm excited for the future though. 
we have a ton of stuff coming in series to come I, like i said i have already another 14 series planned out and i still need to coordinate some stuff with that it's not gonna come right away it's gonna be down the road i said i'm gonna take a break from 14 for a little bit i also have a plan for mvp baseball with the white tails that could be coming not anytime soon though it's in the future plans we'll have to see once we get to that crossroad but i want to thank you guys so much for the support this actually isn't the last episode we will have one more episode of this series and it'll be kind of a dedication episode where we look back on the best moments of this dynasty so that'll be a fun episode to just reminisce on and look at and look back at the good times and even the bad so i want to thank you guys so much for the support in this series hit subscribe hit that like button remember the white tails legacy does live on even though this series will be coming to an end stay tuned let's get it let's go i've been working hard for a minute the ones who don't deserve it seem to be the ones that get it the ones who speak the truth never get the recognition but the ones that act foolish seem to get all the attention it don't matter though yeah and it don't even matter though no nope. hey it don't even matter